One morning, Nobita learns about the mysterious happenings on the moon, where he tells his classmates that it was the moon rabbit, but nobody believes him. He tries to prove by imitating the rabbits by making rice cakes and hits his teacher in the process, where he gets punished. When Nobita tells Doraemon about this, who reluctantly takes out Divergent View Badge Gadget and creates an atmosphere on the moon. Using the animal clay, they creates Moonbit and returns to their home. Later, Nobita's mother tells him to bring Suzuki grass for moon viewing ceremony, where he sees a boy and calls him, but the boy suddenly disappears. The next day, a new student named Luca arrives, and Nobita gets surprised to see that it is the same boy he had seen yesterday. As soon as Nobita reaches home, he asks Doraemon to take him to the kingdom. Upon reaching there, they find that the bamboo plants were glowing, which was the effect of the shining moss, spread by them earlier. Nobita is in the playground with Shizuka, John, and Sunio, where he gives them the badge and invites them to the kingdom. Luca joins them and they are given a grand welcome at the rabbit kingdom, and they meet a rabbit that looked like Nobita and named it as Nobit, and teases Nobita. Shizuka requests Nobit to give them a good tour of the place. Doraemon reveals that they can see this kingdom because of the badge they are wearing and warns them not to remove it as it is only due to the badge, they are able to breathe. Within a few seconds, a huge rabbit monster, made by Nobita while making Moonbit, arrives and wreaks havoc. Nobita chases him and later falls into a deep abyss without the badge. Soon the group arrives, and Nobit, who had seen everything tells them that Nobita had fallen. Doraemon gets worried about Nobita, but hears Nobita's voice from below rang out, and the group discovered that Nobita is safe and soon learned that Luka is not an earthling, but an espel from the planet Kagaya, who has special powers, known as Ether. Luka introduced his friends to his sister Luna, but suddenly they hear a loud noise, and heads towards the place and discovers that it is his little brother Al Song. Luca tells everyone that his power is quite different from the other Espel and also that Al can see the future. The group decides to hold a space cart race on Moon's surface. John, Sunio, and Al are in the lead. When their cart is about to crash with a huge rock, Al uses its power to destroy the rock. The others arrive there and Luca reveals that they are trying to hide from the people of Kagaya planet and that Diabolo had previously used the ether power to destroy the moon of the Kagaya planet to show off his power, but the particles of the moon covered the whole Kagaya planet and it had become a dark planet due to which his parents used a ship to send all the Espel to space to avoid being taken advantage of doing disastrous things again. Suddenly, an unknown raid force arrive out of nowhere and tries to capture Espel where the other Espel also came out from their hiding to the surface, to inquire about the explosion. The Kagaya beings uses ether distortion to weaken the Espel. The Kagaya beings had captured all Espel, except Luka while Doraemon tells everyone to run towards the Anywhere door to escape, but Luka gets kidnapped. The Anywhere door explodes due to the attack of the Kagaya beings. Nobita tells Doraemon to use Bamboo Copter to fly to Moon, but Doraemon denies this. Mozo, the Kagaya turtle, comes out of Shizuka's shirt and tells them to use the emergency ship, which he and Luka had used to come to Earth. Doraemon tells everyone to gather here at 7 p.m. At 7 p.m., the group flies towards the moon. Upon reaching there, they find Moonbit, who was trying to say something, they decide to follow him and finds Luna, who reveals that Luka had given his badge to her due to which, she managed to escape. Nobita, Doraemon, Sunio, Mozo, and John decide to leave for Kagaya and Doraemon gives Shizuka his spare pocket and the danger alarm. Meanwhile, Commander Godat takes Luka to Diabolo, who reveals his plans to leave Kagaya and attack Earth. Later, Godat frees Luka from the handcuffs and is filled with rage to know that he was being used. The royal servants reach there and arrests Godat and Luka. Upon arriving there, the friends decides to ask the residents of the planet about the Espel. The residents reveals that they do not know anything about them, but all the important people on the planet lives in the royal palace. The gang enters the palace and starts searching for Luca and his friends. In the prison, Godat reveals to Luca that he was the descendant of Dr. Godel, the person who created Espel, 
and gives him a blue orb which he inherited from his ancestors, and Luca kept in his pocket. The gang arrives there and frees the Espel. Luca tells them that Godat is their ally John and Sunio decide to handle the royal soldiers while Godat, Luca, Nobita, and Doriman advance to fight Diabolo, whose true form is revealed to be a robot. Diabolo attacks the four and became unconscious while John and Sunio's guns had finished and are also captured. On the moon, Shizuka sees Nobit working on something and she starts thinking that as soon as she removes the badge, Nobit and all of the rabbit kingdom vanishes. She removes it and is shocked to still be able to see Nobit. It is because of the reality badge made by Nobit. Nobita and the team wake up and find themselves in a cage. Diabolo tells them that he is going to use the ether to become young again. Soon after, he becomes a bit young. Nobita provokes him to take out a gadget but Doriman says that his pocket is not there. Diabolo had taken his pocket away when he was unconscious. Suddenly, Shizuka and Luna along with the Moonbit come out of Doriman's pocket and they free the Espel, where they tell them that it was due to Nobit's badge. The whole tables have turned against Diabolo and is about to be destroyed, but manages to capture Luna and escape. He says that he is going to Earth and will destroy it. Mozo tells that his shell is the hardest in the universe and they put it in the air cannon. Luca gives a power boost to Nobita, and Mozo goes straight through the ship, destroying it completely. Sunio catches Luna and saves her from falling. Suddenly, the blue orb starts shining and the light of the planet is restored. Doriman investigates the orb and tells them that it is a kind of shining moss that was built to multiply and explode when in contact with ether. Nobita tells that Luca's ancestors knew that he would come back and restore the light of the planet. Godat requests Luca to stay with him, but refuses to say that for a peaceful life, it would be better than Espel remains a myth. Back on Moon, Luca requests Doriman to create a theory that Espel are just normal beings, and the rabbit ears vanish off, where they become normal beings. Doriman and their friends arrive back to Earth, where they bury their badges, to ensure a peaceful life for the Espel.